So in this video we're going to recap the McCabe-Teal method for looking at binary distillation columns. So when we use the McCabe-Teal method, what we need to remember is that there are some key assumptions for this method. The first is constant molar overflow. So this means what we're assuming is that the vapour and liquid flows between the trays are the same. We also assume that we both have adiabatic and isobaric operation for our column. So we have no heat losses to our column and the pressure doesn't change across our column. Our final assumption is that we have what are called parallel enthalpy lines. And this means that the saturated liquid and saturated vapor enthalpy curves are parallel lines i.e. we have a constant enthalpy of vaporization for the mixture along our column. So the first thing we need to do to start to look at developing the McCabe-Teal method for our distillation column is to start to look at a mass balance over the top of our column. So this is the top of our column and if we start to look at a mass balance around the top section of our column here, we can see that what we can say is that we have Vyn entering our section and we have a liquid from our tray leaving plus we have our distillate leaving. What we can do is then actually rearrange this in terms of Yn which essentially gives us a value for Yn in terms of the ratio of the liquid to vapour flow rates and then information based on our distillate composition. Now let's hold this equation up here but let's think about having a mass balance around our next tray, our tray N. So this is our tray N and then in this case we have our in equal to our out. And again we can rearrange this in terms of our Y. Now, from our original equation, we can see that we have a Yn, and if we have minus Lv over Xn plus 1, we're just left with this dV xd term. So it means we can rewrite this in terms of the distillate. This provides us an equation for the whole of our top section or our enrichment section operating line. Now if we take our enrichment section operating line, what we can actually do is rewrite this in terms of the reflux ratio. So we know that the reflux ratio is the liquid flow rate going back into our column over the diameter. So our L over V we can rewrite as L over L plus D, which we can change to L over D, L over D plus 1, and we can substitute that expression in for the reflux ratio to give us the reflux ratio over the reflux ratio plus 1. We can rewrite the same for the distillate over the vapour flow rate, which gives us the distillate over L plus D, which we can rewrite to be 1 over L over D plus 1, which means we have R over R plus 1. We can then substitute these back in to our enrichment section operating line to give us our enrichment section operating line in terms of the reflux ratio. So. At the top of our column, we know that our final liquid phase composition equals our distillate composition. 
So therefore, we know that at the top of our column, our enrichment section operating line must be given by this expression, which means that we have r over 1 plus r over 1 xd, but that goes to 1. Therefore, at the top of our column, the vapour composition must also be equal to our liquid composition. So therefore, that we know at the top of the column, our enrichment section operating line passes through the coordinates xd, xd. We can repeat this analysis for the bottom of the column to develop what's now called our stripping section operating line. And for this, we get ym equals liquid flow rate over the vapour flow rate of our x m plus 1 minus the bottoms over the vapour flow rate times by our bottom product composition. So again, we can say that at the bottom of the column, we know that our final liquid flow rate must equal our bottom product composition. So therefore, we can add this to our equation and we get this expression in which we can write a liquid minus our bottom product over our vapour equal times by our bottom product composition. But our liquid product minus our bottom product is our vapour flow rate. So again, this goes to 1. So we know that our vapour composition equals our liquid bottom composition. So we know that for our stripping section operating line, this must pass through the coordinate xb, xb. So now we have an expression for the top of the column and the bottom of the column. So all we need is something to take into account our feed condition. So if we look at our feed tray, what we can see is that our liquid flow rate in the bottom of the column equals our liquid flow rate from the, from the top of the column plus our liquid flow rate from the feed. And our vapour flow rate in the top of the column equals the vapour flow rate from the bottom of the column plus the vapour flow from the feed. We can also write this for our component. And then we can rearrange this in terms of the vapour. Which we can rearrange into an expression for our vapour fraction. Now we know that for the feed, we can specify the feed quality. Where the feed quality is essentially our liquid fraction of the feed over the total feed. So we can rearrange our expression for y in terms of our feed quality. So what we can get is that minus our ls over v f equals our lf over f minus lf, which we can rearrange to be q over q minus 1. And also, we can do our feed over of a vapor, which we can get our feed over our feed minus our liquid, which gives us 1 over 1 minus q. So we can substitute these in and get an expression for our feed line in terms of our feed quality as yf equals q over q minus 1 xf plus 1 over 1 minus q zf. And we know that that line must also pass through the coordinates zf, zf. So now we have our three equations needed for our, to carry out the McCabe-Teal method 
on our equilibrium data. So we have our equilibrium data curve, which is our x against y, and we have our feed expression, our enrichment section operating line, and our stripping section operating line. So we know that we have three key points. The first is our feed feed composition, which we can put here. We have our distillate composition point, so our XD, XD, and we also have our bottom product point, so our XB, XB. Now the first line that we want to draw is our feed line. So we know that this goes through our ZF, ZF, and we also know that if x equals zero, the y must equal this. So our feed line passes from our x, z, f, z, f as a straight line to one over one minus q over z, f. We can then look at our enrichment section operating line. So we know that our enrichment section operating line starts at x d x d and at x equals zero <coughs> that goes through one over r plus one x d so if we take this point then we can draw a straight line between x d x d and at one over r plus one x d point the point where these two lines cross is the point where our feed is and we can draw our stripping section operating line by joining that point up to our xb xb coordinate and that's our three key lines drawn for the mccabe telem method we can now use our operating lines to find how many equilibrium stages we need by stepping and we can start from our feed point. So we can step up towards our distillate and we can step down towards our bottom product. And in this case we need four equilibrium stages for the separation.